well, we run our lines. Um, how do I how do I do the scene and not rem- and not forget my lines with him? Well, we we run yeah. our lines and we're prepared and um, you just really kind of focus in on on having that conversation and having it be real. Um, what, what, what do you want to have them with Sabrina and Patrick? Like, do you want them to get married and have kids or no? Um, well, I mean, it depends on what the writers want to do. I feel like, um, I feel like they're a good match. I feel like they're, they're good for each other in different ways. Um, Sabrina is, he really loves Emma and loves being a part of her life. So, in whatever capacity that can be, um, she'd be thrilled with that. Um, what do I want? Yeah, uh, like if you were writing the show. If I was were writing the show, well, it is a soap opera, so you do have to keep the drama going. Right. Um, so I, I would definitely continue writing in the twists and turns and. Um, I, you know, at some point I would bring Robin back in and see how that played out because this really does kind of lend itself to a unique, to a yeah, a very, an interesting situation where there can be a lot of conflict on many levels. Um, so I, I, I guess that's what I would do is at some point Definitely. the closer they get, to, it would be to bring Robin in. Definitely. Well, mm-hmm. I'm getting a lot of questions on Facebook as to whether the writers are going to keep to bring and Patrick together. And you're asking me if I know? <laughs> yeah. I don't know. <laughs> oh. Um, they're together right now. <laughs> yeah, <that's true. laughs> Well, thank well, you for taking my call, Teresa. Oh, thank you, Melissa. I'm, I'm, I'm glad you're feeling better, and I'm glad your surgery went well. And, thank you. Um, Beth, thank you for calling in. Thank you. Have Thanks, a great night. Thanks, Melissa. Thanks, I hope Kim. you get well soon. Thank you. You're welcome. Bye-bye. Bye. Bye. We'll go ahead and take one more call. Um, Michelle is online. Hi, Teresa. How are you? Hi, Michelle. I'm good. How are you? Good, good. Um, My question is, I'm a big Jack Wagner fan. Uh, Yes, he is. (laughs) So what was it like to sit there and listen to him sing All I Need? Oh, it was beautiful. I mean, um, we got to hear it a few times because uh, we got to sh- we shot it a few times. So I'm, it was crazy because being at the nurses' ball and it was like a big concert. I mean, watching him and watching Rick Springfield was so much fun. I mean, that was like the funnest week ever when we shot um, the nurses' ball. But I mean, every everybody on that on the show has so much talent. So it was fun to see all the talent showcased, and, um, I mean, it was very dreamy. Um, I can't stop watching the YouTube clip, okay? So I'm, like, totally addicted <laughs> to that. <laughs> <laughs> so that's what I was, like, sitting there, like, what can I ask her? And then, I, and then all of a sudden it just, like, popped in my head. Because yeah. if I, you, you said they, you shot that a few times, I wouldn't be able to survive that once. <laughs> <laughs> and and Pam and David know about like how I'm campaigning to get them back on the show. Oh yeah, oh. definitely. Yes, I know. <laughs> so I just yeah. wanted to call and ask you because I, you know, like I, I watch it and I see how they shoot to like Patrick and Sabrina, and it was just like I have to ask that question. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. He's a really nice guy, and it's really, um, it was cool. It was really cool. Cool. <laughs> well, I think that Jack should come back, and Sabrina and Jack should do a song together, and then Michelle, oh my God. all yeah. in her glory. <laughs> that would be something. That would be yeah. nice. So, uh, and well, else have a good you? night, Teresa and Pam and David. Thanks Thank for you. calling in, Michelle, oh, and I'll be waiting for you to pick me up. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> bye-bye. All right, bye. <laughs> she's, she's been packing all day. I told her to come and pack my stuff, pick me up, and we'll thumb it all around. 
<laughs> we'll go hitchhiking on a vacation. <laughs> but, yeah, she's a, a huge fan of Jack Wagner, and, and that would be so cool if he did come back. And I'd love to see you do a duet with him because you have the most beautiful voice. I mean, I was very shocked to hear you sing, although I guess I shouldn't be because, you know, usually actors do sing. But you're amazing. Did you take lessons, oh, or did that just come on you. its own? Um, I I sang growing up, and I um I was pursuing a career in as a recording artist for a while, and um so that's what I was doing before I decided to to move to acting. So yeah, I've been singing for a long time. Do you have any like albums or singles out or anything like that? Um, I had a song released on the Material Girls soundtrack years ago. It was a Hillary and Haley Duff movie. Um, I was signed to Interscope Records as part of a girl group, and we got about halfway through the album, and um, and it ended up kind of just um, dissipating. So uh, we we never released our uh, album, but. Um, but, yeah, I've had a lot of experience in that world. Well, I think you should, you know, pursue that. I mean, if that's something you're still interested in, because yeah, I love I... to play your music. I have a second show okay. that I do. It's uh, Take Two Radio Music, and I play, you know, indie artists on there, any band or any singer that's not signed with a label usually. I play their mm-hmm. music on there, and I would play your music in a second. Oh, oh thank you. You're Such welcome. a beautiful voice. Pardon? Such a beautiful voice. Oh, thank you so much. Um, yeah, I mean, I definitely at some point I, I would like to get back into it. Right now I'm just focusing on acting, and, and that, that's definitely taking all of my my energy. Um, I, I like to do things 100% instead mm-hmm. of half there and half there. Um, so, yeah, at some point I would like to, I, I think I'll, I'll send some music out. <laughs> Not, so good. Send it my way if you do. I, I'd love to. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Sounds good. Well, we're almost at the top of the hour, and I know David wants to say something before we close out. So go ahead, David. Okay. Uh, Teresa, since you came on the General Hospital set, you set a new standard for me. Oh. You are... You are a captivating young woman with or without the glasses. Oh, my God. David, you're going to make me cry. <laughs> thank you. Well, you're very you welcome. I, I say we all agree with that. I mean, we've all fallen in love with you, and I, I just couldn't be happier that you're on General Hospital. Um, unfortunately, I don't catch a lot of the, the shows that you've been on, like iCarly and teenager secret life of a teenager but um without having you on a soap i don't know i may have somehow or another you know come across you on another show at another time because you'll be acting for a long time i can see you going far oh thank you so much yes thank you too you're welcome and thank you so much for taking the time to call in we really enjoyed speaking with you and please Try to get that audition tape from Frank. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much. This is a lot of fun. Thank you for taking the time. You're welcome. And you You're enjoy the welcome. rest of your evening, okay? Thank you. You too. All right. Take care. Bye-bye. Take care. Okay, bye. Thanks. Bye. <laughs> you know, she's somebody that I could see myself hanging out with. You know, she seems like she's the sweetest person and, you know, a lot of fun to hang out with. She'd be a lot of laughs. She is. She's 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 just I know, she's just a sweetheart. Very sincere. I would believe everything she told me. Unlike some other I people. <laughs> I'm sorry that um I'm sorry that I put her on the spot about um, that sensitive material that I spoke oh, about earlier. Yeah, well, you didn't know. I mean, that's... She, I didn't know. 
She handled it with grace. It, it was fine. Yeah. Don't worry about it. But thank you to those that called in, and thank you for joining us tonight. And uh, I hope you'll join us again tomorrow. Uh, we have our guest is at 7 p.m. Eastern Time, and his name is Gary Carnes. And he's been in quite a few movies. He has definitely a lot of them coming up. And recently he um, he finished a, um, a film called The Night Visitor Movie. And I had uh, Mark Gant and um, Jennifer Blanc Bean and uh, Brianna Davis on for an interview about that movie. And I'm looking forward to seeing it. They just uh, recently got their money on Kickstarter for the post-production of it. And it's kind of like a sci-fi horror thriller kind of thing, but not the gory kind, you know, more like a spooky kind of thing. So that I'll be able to watch. I, I, I can't do bloody gory type stuff. Can you, David? Um, I can do it, but um, I have to be in the mood. Really? Yeah. See, that kind of stuff I would watch, like, through my fingers and probably miss half of it because of <laughs> yep. because of it. Mm-hmm. I just, ooh. But the funny thing is I can sit and watch, like, on the Discovery Channel, watch, like, somebody getting operated on. <laughs> yeah, you know, but I can't yeah, watch I can, I can funny, blurry things in movies. <laughs> I can. It's too funny. <laughs> Um, but, it's been a while, but I think I can still do that. <laughs> but yeah, <laughs> I I don't choose, you know, I don't choose to. Right. But I could do it if I needed to, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> 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 yeah, not my first choice. I definitely love, you know, will watch comedies first. That's my first and foremost. But um, Gary's been in The Protector, the TV series, Death Collectors. Um, He's been on Mad World. He's been in Justified. Um, He was in Hero Wanted. So there's quite a few things that you may recognize him from. And um, his upcoming movies will be Black Butterflies, The Night Visitor, Project Fear, Circus of Dread, Monumental, which is something that he wrote, and it sounds like an unbelievably great movie and i can't wait till that comes out and he just got another movie that we'll talk about too as well so join us tomorrow at 7 p.m eastern time if you missed any of our previous uh guests and you'd like to listen to the podcast you can do that on my website take two radio.com you can do it through blog talk you can do it on itunes and also stitcher which is an app for mobile devices and it's free on there as well And uh, don't forget to follow us on Blog Talk. They'll send you an email each and every time that we have a guest scheduled, so that way you don't miss your favorites. And please call in when we have them. Don't be afraid or don't be shy. You can tell they just love to talk to everybody. Um, Also follow us on Twitter at Take2Radio. That's with the number two. You can follow David and Sabina, my other co-host, at Take2Radio Crew. Um, and also, you can follow them on their private uh, Twitters as well. It's David's is at Site Advocate, and uh, Sabina's is at Saflin77, and that's S-A-F-L-Y-N-N-77. And I think I pretty much covered everything else. Um, also, I, if those of you that may not know, on my Take Two Radio Music Show the other day, um, last last Friday. I interviewed a U.K. band called The Room, and also Hunter Tyler called in. She was on there for a good 30 minutes. Uh, The band's lead singer, Martin, has a son that has retinoblastoma, which is an eye cancer for children. And uh, he lost both of his eyes, and Hunter Tyler has a daughter, Katja, that had one of her eyes removed from the same disease. So they spoke about that. So if you'd like to listen to it, you can look it up on Blog Talk um, under Take Two Radio Music, or you can go to TakeTwoRadioMusic.com and listen to the podcast there. And with that, I'm going to say thanks again to everybody, and thank you, David, for joining me tonight. Oh, you're welcome. It's been a pleasure as always. Yes, it is. It has been. Me too. Thanks. And everybody, we'll see you again tomorrow at 7 p.m. Eastern. 
Take care and have a good night. God bless. God bless you, everybody.